Our last fighter interview was with the middleweight champion of the world. He's Jeremy Puglia. Now, Jeremy is a very soft-spoken guy, but don't let that fool you. When he steps into the cage, he lets his fist do the talking. Joining us on the show right now, he's the middleweight champion of the world, the Triton middleweight champion. He's Jeremy Puglia. Uh, Jeremy, how are you doing today, my man? I'm good, man. Just uh, working. Just had a nice, uh, healthy meal direct. I'm feeling good. Getting ready for your uh, neck, your, your title defense. Uh, the last we saw of you, uh, you executed a standing arm bar in your last win. Can't say I've ever seen that. Before we talk about your upcoming fight, let's go back and talk about your last win. Uh, take us through that fight. Yeah, I mean, I knew going in that uh, Vinny was tough. He trains with, you know, Keith Trimble and at Belmore. Uh, I was expecting a little more of a stand-up fight, but... The first round was a little just back and forth in the cage, and then uh, the second round he came out, he did get a nice takedown on me. Uh, you know, I just held him in, uh, more. Uh, I wasn't even really going for that. Just was holding him there to, you know, a little burn some energy, and uh, use it to get up. And then uh, when I got up, yeah, I just sort of got a little mad and got into the fight. It took me a little long. Talking about your upcoming fight here, December 2nd, you'll be defending your middleweight title. What do you know about your opponent? Uh, I know he's moving up in weight. Uh, from everything I've heard, he's taking the fight seriously. Do you know anything about your opponent? Uh, I mean, I just saw a couple videos. I, I'm honestly not not big into yeah, watching the videos and, and uh, thinking too much into it. I let my coaches, uh, you know, like Rick Schaefer and Joe Scholey and, and those guys, they watch the videos. And, you know, we go over a game plan and I pretty much go in there and try to do what I want to do. And, you know, if he changes the pace of the fight or wants to take it to the ground or keep it standing, I'm pretty confident wherever it goes. And, you know, I work, I work on everything, so... I'm not too worried about it. Now, take us through your, your training camp. You mentioned your coaches. How is everything going uh, with your camp so far? Uh, it's great, man. It's it's always good. Everything's smooth. Uh, working you know, all the stand-up with Rick Schaefer over at No Limits. We still have Amos. Uh, you know, the jiu-jitsu and wrestling there is great. I work wrestling with my brother-in-law, Joe. He, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's one of the top guys that I've ever gone wrestling with, coaching-wise. And, uh, yeah, everything's good. Been trained five, six days a week. Feel great. Had to lose some weight because of the uh, honeymoon in Aruba, but feel good. Yeah, we just talked with Ryan Castro. He's also on his honeymoon in Aruba. That must be the spot for these MMA guys. Yeah, he's, uh, I was actually, I went to his wedding, and uh, I'm finally excited. Me and him were talking about it that, we are on the uh, same cards once. We've been training together for like seven years, and we never fought on the same card yet. Wow, that's a good point. That's awesome. Yeah, that's going to be great. Now, talking about this card and fighting in the main event, what does it mean to you to fight in front of your hometown fans and, and friends and family? I know you have a big turnout every time you fight. What does it mean for you to put on a show for those fans? Uh, I mean, it means everything. It definitely helps more than, you know, if you, if you were in there, you'd... You would know, like, having them there and just gives you that extra push and drive to, you know, succeed. And I don't want to let anyone down, you know, especially myself, but everyone who helps me train and who comes to sports me. And I want to put on a good show and come out with the W. Love it. That's the right mentality to have. Jeremy Pugley, he fights December 2nd. He's the middleweight champion of Triton Fights. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in the cage very soon, Jeremy. Uh, thank you. No problem.